called the Gallows, captained by a swarthy man named Captain Sardis. He's a Gitsi- a water soul Gitsera, in case anybody cares. Gitsera. There you go. Ooh. Um, Never which, had one of those is, before. Yeah. What, what was that? A Gitsera. They're Gitsera. like an Gitsera. elemental race. Yeah. Like, they yeah. embody pure elements. They're like kind of like elementalists, water. but, you know, it's... Made like, of element yeah. instead yeah. of mm-hmm. being... That's cool. Um... Yeah, his first mate is a lanky, blonde-haired human navigator named Arvon, whose keen blue eyes miss, no- miss nothing. Holy shit, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the look! Um, it's your twin! You have no oh, eyes! God. Yes, I do, they're just not painted in, because of fucking he wizards. He really has no <laughs> eyes! He's deaf! He's deaf! <laughs> yes, I'm deaf. No wonder my perception score is so shitty. Uh, what is your perception score? Six. I guess uh, mine's probably- five. The captain the is, a, is a friendly, salty sword, smelling. and has granted passage for you to dock at Raven's Bluff. You've already paid the passage, so you don't have to worry about that. Good, because I have no goal. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> um, the winds are fair, and the sky is clear, save for a wispy cloud on the horizon. It's a perfect day to begin our tale, so... Which means it's going to go all to shit. All right, yeah. <laughs> so is this the part where we get to introduce ourselves? If you so desire, I don't yes. want to know any of you. All right, well... Where yeah, which boat are we on? Uh, you're on the gallows. Yeah, just pick one. All right. Pick Absolutely one. Not that one. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I'll take this one that I can't You're get to. You're dead now. Congrats. All right. Get back over here. So, yeah. Sitting next in front of the mast on a big old keg of ale, you see a blonde-haired half-elf strumming the strings of his guitar, singing an old sea oh, shanty. Great. He's a half-elf. Erica. Yes, I do. Uh, oh, God. It's sing-along time, everyone. <laughs> I really don't like you already. <laughs> the sailors love me, see? <laughs> anyway, continue, Eric. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys continue to introduce yourself, I guess. Feel free to talk to the guys. You, yeah. didn't, you, you didn't really finish. <laughs> The song's still playing. You guys can go ahead and tell what you guys see. No! Bitch. Alright, fine. I stop singing as my guitar breaks. Start restricting. like music. Well, you are you, half Erica the Raven Queen? God. No, I just. I just bloody don't like half elves. What a half elf ever do to you, son? You are an abomination to the elven blood. But you're an abomination, period. Go back to no, the fairy realms. I believe I'm in a Lodrin, you know, the purest form of epicness allowed. Yeah, now get back to your own realm. Mm. Anything to say, Steph? <laughs> so... I'm trying to think of a background. You know, I have a huge background. Like, I mean, your reasons for being on this ship are entirely negligible. I could really care less. <laughs> Thank you, Erica. Really? <laughs> Really, like, like, is it a, like you said a gallows ship? Like, well, the the name of the ship is called the Gallows. Oh, um, excuse me. Other than that, it's just like a trading vessel. You oh. could have been escaping from your homeland because it really blows right now. That you could be doing other stuff. Oh. Doesn't uh, really matter. You can just tell us uh, mm. what we there see in, of your character, Erica. Yeah. I I mean, the, oh. Seth. Uh, there are a bunch of options, to be honest. Like, literally. <clears throat> the picture you have on your character sheet is pretty badass. That's a man. <laughs> okay, fine. It can be a girl. <laughs> Just scribble in some hair. A bow. A bow and eyelashes. <laughs> Lighters. Oh, Lord. She's pretty badass. It's a man. Okay, so now that we know that Seth's playing a mod. Um, so... Go back to England, Seth, where you belong. Boy. Oh. <laughs> those mods. You go for those mods. I was like, mods, mods, mods. Yeah, not moderator. Yeah, like, what? Anyway. Uh, yeah. Um. So, Mark, how much HP do you have? Yeah. HP? Yeah. Uh, 24. You right. could be including Symbia, AC? seeking to join pirate hunters, wanting to explore dwarven, dwarven ruins, or simply mm-hmm. just felt like visiting Raven's Bluff. Maybe uh-huh. you're a native to Raven's no. Bluff and nope. you're returning from a pleasure or business trip. Many options are plausible, but... Uh, uh, what about the dwarven ruin thing? thing? Uh, Raven's Bluff you don't is, need well, that. Roll history. <laughs> you don't. 
I don't 20. Know. For whatever the hell we're rolling, I rolled in that 20. You both history. don't have to, but oh, okay. Seth's rolling for backstory purposes. Oh. His, like, you said roll history. Dwarven ruins. ruins. Yeah. You I have can no idea where my... Like, all right, oh, there all right. that's what I'm doing Wait. then. Yeah. Because I just rolled that. I actually rolled a desire. twelve. Twelve for history. So right, I got. Um, for you, rumors have it that Raven's Bluff is built on 25. a series of dwarven ruins, like catacombs. Um, perhaps this has piqued your curiosity, and you want to go visit them. You got an at twenty. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. So congratulations! You're basically a native of Raven's Bluff. You know all this shit that I'm about to tell you. Um, I got a twenty-five. I got an at twenty. Go shut up. Okay, so, uh, obviously, uh, Raven's Bluff is in you? the country of Vesprey, um, which is a really cool place. Do you, you rolled history, is that correct? I think. Alright, sure, let's go with that. So, um, you know that there are, I think it's five main houses, four main houses, whoops, no, five, okay. Five main <laughs> houses in Raven's Bluff, um, if you guys want... I, I literally drew the sigils of each house <laughs> and gave them house words. Sweet. Can you put them out here I for my camera? I if you so desire to peek at those. Um, that is for later. If you want to roll lore for the country, feel free, but that would kind of take a lot of time. Yeah, we're okay. good. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is garbage. Okay, look, more garbage. Um... <laughs> Don't you love pre-maids? <laughs> it's like all the important stuff that I need is kind of scattered everywhere and then all the useless yeah. stuff is suddenly compacted. <laughs> and it's like all I can find. Oh, you're not supposed to know that. Huh? Oh. Uh, I think well, we know enough to continue to on to encounter one. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are done introducing yourself and well. talking to the <laughs> So Apparently Mark and I hate each other. Seth's yep. an anonymous. <laughs> Seth is exceedingly Seth is confused. Derp. And the crew loves me. So, moving on. Oh, right. The crew love you. Uh, yes. So, Captain Sardis squints at the wisp of cloud I have to on, hate someone in the group. on the horizon and pulls out a spyglass and peers through it skeptically. Two ships off the port bow grappled together with sails down. One ship's ablaze while the other ship carries a ballista and flies the, and flies the skull and crossbones, which I should know. Cries look out in the crow's nest. Captain Sardis aims his spyglass and curses, Pirate scum. I will attack them if uh, if you have the courage for it. How say you? There's a reason the ship is called the Gallows. It's what those pirates will get when we catch them. Anything to say? Well, I am being to get a better view or to yeah, Captain I'm Sardis going to... These two uh, I approach the captain and say, Might have a look, good man. Pirates? <laughs> <laughs> Away, wizard, away! <laughs> he passes you the spyglass. Oh, no. says, Feel free to take a peep. <laughs> he says right, perception so roll, right? So I rolled a, a 17. <laughs> Alright, uh, 17. Do I get a bonus from the spyglass? I rolled yeah, a right, 9. <laughs> plus 3. Sweet, so that's a 20. Okay, um, you can clearly <clears throat> see two ships uh, in the distance. Choop, choop, choop. The pirate ship, which is labeled the Empty Sky with its pitch blue sails and a lovely skull and crossbones flag. And a smaller ship called the Silverfish, a flame burning next to it. Um, there appears to be a ballista on the larger ship, but it doesn't seem to be in working order. What did you roll, Mark? Or no, nine. Nine. <laughs> a nine. Okay. All right. So to the captain, I say, "Yes, let's take the ship before they get their ballista working again. We should have a clear line now." Sweet. What is your plan of attack? Well, they don't have their weapons, so let's draw alongside them and throw grapples. <clears throat> okay, dokie. So y'all do that. You pull up next to. Oh, you got the fast. Empty, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> they were. We were already at night fight range. You pull up to the empty sky, and as you approach, you see something tied to the center mast. Hmm. The pirates, of course, have seen you coming and are rallying to battle. Uh, the silverfish is basically a flame. There's no point in boarding it. You will yeah. catch fire and die. <laughs> Woo! Um, I'm assuming that's our crossed out ship at the side. Yeah, that would. All right. Be. A little tiny cog. Little. Isn't that pretty flame? I taste them I see them. That is beautiful. <laughs> I was admiring that. Um, so, yeah. I'll just set these here so you can kind of see which ship that is, is which. That is nice, yes. Interesting. Actually, if you do check the side of the ship, this is named the Empty Sky in case anybody cares. But anyway, 
Because the other names that they were. You should have more him, props. I like it. The names that they originally gave them in the campaign were super, super gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like your names better. What were they? <laughs> yeah, what were they? Lady Luck, <laughs> the Leaping Dolphin, and something super, super lame. What was it? The Prancer. I think it was Sea Dagger. That's what that was. Oh, that's so that not was that bad. reasonable, but Dagger. It's, that's yeah, like brand's too. pet names. Yeah. I was like, okay. Um, so... I like your names better. Yeah. yeah. The gallows converges on the pirate ship, and the pirate ship is no longer connected to the burning ship, which is drifting away and burning and dying. Um, the pirates are raising their sails and have crossbows ready. Your crew oh, is ready with their grappling hooks, and you see a well-dressed man ba- bound to the center mass of the ship. Of our ship? or uh, Of theirs. All right. So... so... Sinking the ship might not be good for him. Probably not. But So this well dressed man is a captive or You don't know yet. Can I make a reception check to see if he's bound or yes. something? Sorry. Right. And I get a sixteen. Yes, you can tell that he's probably bent yeah, he's All right. tied up. Excellent. He doesn't seem to be moving away from said mass. Alright. Uh, I love the mass. No, you can't right. specifically. Assuming he's not ropes. shagging it. So yeah, yeah okay. Uh okay, so Okay, so I guess you guys can roll to grappling hook the thing, though I don't really know. All right, what can to do you have any tokens for the pirates we can see? Because oh, yeah, I'd be like right. to not grapple onto a place next to them. Good idea. I'm just gonna randomly use. Just the, use the red guard. Yeah. Oh, Kasha. <laughs> um, oh, Kasha. Kid of pirates. Wait, let me decide. Sea kittens. Um, keep in mind that. Actually, roll perception a bit time, guys. Uh, uh, 21. Okay, you do see uh, 16. that on both Seven. of your uh, ships, they're built relatively the same, the masts <coughs> ascend about 40 feet and have a small platform, and then another 30 feet to the crow's nest. There is rigging, so you could technically climb it if you so desired. Um, Would that be an acrobatics or an ath- athletics check? I'm pretty sure it's athletics. Uh, ac- Hmm. It could be both. Athletics that for the mast. It's athletics for rigging. It's yeah, it's the same. Dungeoneering. <laughs> no, for rigging, it's acrobatics. Well then, I'm going to climb the rigging because I have an eight in acrobatics. Okay. And Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's still an eight, nine, and eleven. Okay, uh, you get about halfway up and tangle yourself within the rope little ladder thing. Excellent. So, uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, can I oh, take my standard action to try and untangle myself? Yes, you can. Okay. Well, that's better. That's a 23, I think. Okay. 22. You succeed, though you have to cut <coughs> one of the small rope oh, well. footholds. So. Not a big Shing. problem. Uh, my great sword. Two, you are going to be randomized now. Fire over. Gotcha. Well, <laughs> you have a wolf? Yes. Oh, my, fuck your crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need a crew. I have a wolf. There's Captain Sardis. He's suddenly a <laughs> built. Uh, you fire Always. over your grappling hooks and seem to pull the ships closer, but keep in mind, these guys are also firing theirs. So your ships are basically bound, bound together. You can feel free to attempt to get rid of theirs, um, but either way, you're going to need to swing over the other ship, or they're going to come to you. So. All right. Uh... You two are ranged, so yeah. if you guys could, like, get about here and start just mm-hmm. picking them off, I'll leap over and engage the boss. And like I said, there is a platform on each mast, so if you felt the need to climb that and get a better vantage point... And get to where they couldn't attack you. Yeah. You would have probably a little oh. luck. Did we roll initiative? Yeah, we haven't rolled um, initiative No, yet. you haven't, because nobody's attacked yet. Alright, so yeah, we're... Sure Could enough. we... Uh, we're gonna have to fight either them eventually. Either do it or they're gonna roll. Okay, like, so yeah, uh, like there's no they... longer this gap here, right? Well, there is a gap. There it's is just a gap. you have to swing over. Oh, okay, but on it's... the grapples. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna head over to this mast mm-hmm. and roll guess... athletics to climb the mast. Uh, I assume that's like a... if you can slow them, they'll have a harder time getting over here. Athletics. Mm-hmm. Mm. <coughs> uh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you do not succeed climbing the mast. You get about halfway up and slide. <laughs> <laughs> like a little doggy. At least you don't fall. Slide. Can I still attack? 
Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, I mean, you have to roll an acrobatics to swing over if you want to, like, jump into the fray. Oh, Considering no. she's a mage, yeah. I don't yeah. think she really <laughs> wants to. Yeah, you can yeah. get uh, about that. Yeah, Drop fine. Ray of Frost <laughs> on these guys. Your attacks are like, yeah. I'm going to use Ray of Frost on this guy. Okay. Um... Hold, up, let me okay, so Hold on. Be nine Erica, is this square. guy in this square or this square? I don't know. Pick one. Cool. <laughs> I like <laughs> Crunch together. Uh, so that would be oh, nine versus fortitude. Yeah. Okay, nine versus fortitude. On which one? The door peak. Okay. That is... I think he was there. We'll say that's this guy. Uh, versus fortitude? Nope. Mm. Yeah, damn it. Okay. All right, then. Uh, so now oh, that's done, Mark. Um, I'm trying to see. Hold on. Oh, wait, I should probably get up my stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go. How's my wolf gonna get over there? We could throw him. <laughs> actually, yes. <sighs> anyway, so I'm gonna go. That'd be great, actually. Three right here, so I can actually hit something. Yeah, so I'm going to use uh, Divine Glow on the one that Seth tried to hit, mm-hmm. which means I will also hit... Actually, I think I hit both of them, or all three Sexy. of them, or these three. All right. Okay, so, all three of those? Yeah, mm-hmm. so against this dude. Three! Um, so it's Wisdom versus Reflex. Hold on two seconds. Should be like seven versus... Uh, six. I oh, wasn't supposed to three. So six versus his reflex. No, that's not gonna happen. Okay, uh, guys. this dude in the back, the mm-hmm. yeah, the nice little hammer axe thing. Wow. Eight versus reflex. Nope. Last dude. There we go. Um, twenty-two versus reflex against this um, dude. That guy. Yeah, that'll hit. Yay. <laughs> Was that an encounter? Yeah. All right. <laughs> So that's um, seven points of damage. Okay. Cool. Oh, actually, hold on. Two seconds. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry, that's eight points of damage. Okay, that kills him because he's just a standard <coughs> little luke guy. Yay. Yep, Snicky. scurvy she dog number one. <coughs> All right. Hey, Seth, on your next turn, could I imposition you to go over there and throw my wolf across the ship? Absolutely. <laughs> What's your strength? <laughs> Uh, I, I know it's not good, but I think Mark's is better, uh, actually. Mine's plus two. Alright, then never mind. Mark, if you could do that as like a move action or something, that would be much appreciated. Okay. Cause I'll try. If I drown your wolf, though, it's your fault. I have a raised beast as a ritual, so... <laughs> okay, then. He'll be fine. Okie dokie. Uh, do you need the body for that, though? Nope. Okay, then. And if even if I can't get the bo- even if that doesn't work, I could just get another one with like a day. Wow. So, so great pet owner. I I love Ambrose, but he's also Ambrose number four. So, <coughs> dog meat. This is our first session. He should have been dog meat. <laughs> okay. I so. he was originally, but then I always name my dog dog meats. God damn. Okay, his name's dog meat. It's dog <laughs> meat. It's dog meat. All right. Since you guys have already gone. Well, did uh, Jeremy go? Uh, oh, I went you before all y'all. Um, that's right. Okay, so this guy Unless, is going to move right Technically, that, that wasn't guy. during combat, but whatever. And fire his crossbow. Where did I put my 20? Yay! Right now. Okay. Uh, Ooh, that's not going to hit. 14 versus your AC Seth. Mm, I think that's probably <clears throat> going to hit. Yeah, that hits exactly. Uh, uh, okay. 4 damage. It's just auto. Yeah. That's uh, rolling. Alrighty, yeah, like, and that's where it goes. This guy is gonna move a little closer to his captain, and he's gonna. <laughs> uh, he's gonna use thunderburst. What? On. Whoever does it. That's me. That's you. <clears throat> okay. He's using thunderburst on. All right, and that's an AOE attack, I assume. Yeah, it's right. uh, burst one within ten. All right. Before you yeah, but, roll yeah. attacks, hold on. How far up did I get in the? Yeah, because Jeremy's like yeah, floating above. Us. If I got about, more than five feet up, yeah, then I'm okay. Yeah, you're six feet up, so you're good. Uh, okay. okay, so will that still hit? Wait, what, what's the that'll range? only hit you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yay. All right. Uh, so he's gonna use thunderburst on you. 
One within ten, so yeah, that's... He needs to roll. Yeah. Ooh, he made this. Versus, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight versus fortitude. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. He, 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 he. Okay, so. Bitch, I kill you later. So. And Mon Capitan is playing. <coughs> he's obviously not happy that you're attacking his ship, so he's going to curse why. at you, obviously. Not a happy guy. I hope that's not a warlock curse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe, good. Maybe specify. Curses are very powerful in this world, boys. Well, considering that's what warlock powers are called, and warlocks aren't exactly nice. Pretty much. <clears throat> I thought about playing a warlock, but then I was like, no, Mark's gonna play mage. Shows <laughs> what I know. You know, you could have asked beforehand, because I, I was dead set on playing a cleric the minute Erica mentioned we could have any race in any class. Um, he is a It didn't seem like it's the thing I need to ask. He's gonna come down here and attempt to cut your grapple lines so that you cannot get over on a ship. Shrug. Fine by me. Yep. Doesn't matter about us. Uh, he succeeds. I ain't no melee. So there go two of your grapple lines. Out of? Out of four, I guess. Sweet. Since you have four people there. Makes sense. Um, what? So yeah, that's about it. And since that's a minor, he's going to use call to arms for his allies. They don't resist. Fuck them. <laughs> I um, wonder why. Or no, Stop wait. yelling at me. I got you. Thank you. Alright, and he's also going to use <laughs> his ring monkey power, which gives him a plus what? seven to climbing any ring. His... So until, like, the end of the encounter. What's the name of that power? Rigging monkey. <laughs> um, they were called I'm that. Not lying. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> or, no, wait, that's his next turn. So instead, he. No, he already moved. Fuck it, never mind. Alright, <laughs> so. Done. Okay, so is it my turn again? Yeah, go. Sweet. Okay. Bear with me on this, because... Oh, All right. That's cool. I don't yeah. know how half these guys work anymore. Sweet. <laughs> no, no. What I want to do is I want to cut the rope I'm along. I want to swing over, and I want to kick that dwarf in the gut. I think that'd be Considering acrobatics. You're feet up. Um, yeah, you're going to need a hella high <laughs> acrobatics roll. Can I slide down a little bit and then try that? You could, yeah. All right, so I do that. <laughs> okay. I, it's just like release grip. Grip. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, what do I need to roll to swing over? To swing over? Acrobatics. Sweet. Okay, don't fail me now. That's interference with Mark's Coke can. That is your Coke can. Whatever. Yeah. And you did worse. Yeah. And it's you, a 10. <laughs> you nearly lose your glip, grip and fall into the water. Um, I like that nearly word. But because of the railing, you're able to catch yourself on your own ship. And you on dangle. our ship? Yes. You Sweet. Dangle. Okay, in so that you're case, like right there. <laughs> in that case, I'm gonna lean around and throw a throwing axe at Dwarf and make Dwarf Dwarf instead. <laughs> Good luck. I will kill you anyway. <laughs> right. I am killing me a dwarf. I... God damn okay, it! Move coke your coke can. <laughs> I mean, seriously. There you go. That's a eleven versus AC. That's obviously not your math. No, that's not gonna hit him. This is my math is dying. He, he dodges death really to the side. Really works behind the screen. It, God damn it, guys. Okay. It sticks into the railing of his ship. I pull out another hand axe. Come on, asshole! I can do this all day. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. All right, who's next? We didn't roll. I think that was Seth. What next? Yeah, me, Seth, Mark. Makes a lot of sense. I invested all my golden throwing axes. I can't do this all day. All right, who's next? We didn't roll. I think that was Seth. What next? Yeah, me, Seth, Mark. You make a lot of sense. I invested all my golden throwing axes. I can't do this all day. How many throwing axes do you have? Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Do you think I should use Ray of Frost on this guy? Need, uh, it doesn't matter. So they a, die. They're minions, so. Yeah. Oh, is okay. that you so encounter or at uh, will? No, it's at will. Okay. Actually, it's hold. Use, I think yeah, just drop magic missile. Let's see. 20. 20. 20. Boom! All right, yeah, he's dead. Yay. Damn it, I wanted to kill him. Oh, poor half out. Oh, can I? I know, right? Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. If I was true neutral, I would push you into the water, but I'm neutral good, so. You're just chilling there? Uh, fuck. I was gonna say instead of using it on the mook, can I just use it on the captain? But mm. I, uh, uh no. we need the mooks to die so they don't yeah. pepper Cause us with issues. crossbow bolts. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Do you still want me to throw your wolf to the other ship? Yes, I do, cause I can control him on my turn. Okay. Cause right now he's like, I can't do anything. I hope your wolf can swim if you miss. <laughs> Actually, he can. Okay, so I'm well, gonna. I think all dogs can swim. This is my yeah, turn now. Can. I'm gonna go ahead here and try and throw him with. A... Go, dog meat. Go. With an athletics <laughs> roll. Yeah, athletics. That's or, good. Cause... I... Yeah, athletics. Because my athletics is four instead of just two. 
Nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Dizzy was ten. So I want to say nine. Oh, God damn it, Mark. Can I, considering he's my wolf, can I spend an action point to get him over there? Um. Or actually, wait, hold on. Can my wolf roll assist? Yeah. Yeah, I'll allow that. <laughs> okay. Damn it. That was cogs. That was cogs. Okay, I'm rolling on the map from now on. Okay. That's slightly better. Slightly better. Uh, let's see. That's a total of five. Um, yeah. Mm. Mark slips on his ass and drops your wolf on its head. Um, um oh. it nearly tumbles over the edge but slams into the railing and shakes you a little bit. Because you're hanging on to it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I reach up and pat him on the snout. Was well, that my Good entire board. turn? I think um, it should be just a... Is that a minor? Like, I don't really know what that would constitute. Let's call it a move action yeah, so we can... Yeah. Okay, so throwing spells. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what I can do now. Do, 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 do um use divine glow. Of the Caribbean? Yes. Of the Raven Roost or yes. something. Whatever this is, Starlet Sea or some other game. Pirates that's of the Day. Starlet Sea. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use know, right? um, Lance of Faith against Mon Capitan. Hold on. Yeah. God, we are not doing well today. So that would be three, four, uh, seven versus his uh, reflex. No defenses <laughs> no. under ten, Mark. Yeah. Okay. So luckily uh, that was an at will. Pirate's turn. Oh, what? What about, our, what about our captain? He's just sitting there. He's steering or something. Yeah. Well, this captain's not steering. He has minions. It's because he's parked, basically. Yeah, so, so are we. Ship. He's parked with two ships. He can't go anywhere if he wanted to. I'm oh, yeah. saying, why isn't our captain helping out? No, he doesn't want This is his ship we're defending. He's steering. <laughs> we're parked! <laughs> Mark, it's don't hard. ask questions. Erica, go. Um, yeah. Let's see him. this guy go first. He's going to use <clears throat> Dancing Lightning. What the fuck, mage? Yep. <laughs> ship's mage. Wait, the dwarf or the captain? The dwarf. The dwarf. Oh, okay. That's How do we have a dwarf about. mage? I don't know. I just picked up the mini at random. All it's right. not actually a dwarf. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, Shit. Um, <laughs> oh, lol. Hey. <laughs> oh, lol. And looky, you're hanging on to the railing <laughs> for your life. Yay! Don't worry, I can heal you. <laughs> That's okay. You're going to drown, dude. I um, have athletics. Okay. I can't. I can't fly, so I can't get you. Wolfie, fly! Fly to me, my minion. We haven't created that mutation yet. Oh. No, no, no! I need him to fly to me so he can drown, and I can f use his body as a flotation device. You are awful. <laughs> I can res him. You, you can't are res awful. me. You get one of Doc. He needs babies. Thirteen. Thirteen versus your reflex. Who uh, me? Yes. You no. Can. Piss off. Okay. He, his lightning bolt strikes by your head, but misses. Uh, Matrix dodge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not going to hit. Seven versus your reflex mark. Yeah, the dice gods hate all of us today. Yay! And... What's his mutual hatred? Eleven versus Seth's reflex. No. Int is your, dumb, is your main stat. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so his lightning is obviously very difficult to control, and he cannot seem to strike anything. Can um, he make an attack against himself because he's so bad? <laughs> only if it were in that one. Lol. Uh, Did he hit me? No. 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 Oh. That's why I said no, of course not. He, he's gonna try and whoops, uh, move back over here and get some cover because he off. is a mage and he doesn't want to get hit. Bitch! Uh, I'm coming for you. Captain. What square that could have hit him? Well, shift up a square. I still can't hit him. Oh. Alright. Captain is tired of the shit because he loves his yeah, ship. Yeah, he's one out of my range. He doesn't like people trying to arrest him. Especially well, we're not since... trying to arrest him, we're trying to kill him. Well, either way, you could arrest him if you wanted, but yeah. We should arrest him. There's a bounty on him. Obviously, he's, he's gonna a pirate. die anyway. Um, yeah. So obviously, he, he's he's not too happy. He is going to roll athletics to grapple over to <clears> our <throat> ship. Thank you. Would that be he's gonna push you into the water, dude. Hey, man, if he lands yeah, on he me. Yay! Yes! Bitch! And he is going to use... Where are you? F no, you're not flanking. Uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, he's going to use Vicious Mockery. 
Wait. He's a bard? Um, what the bloody fuck? He's just a captain. <laughs> That's still a bard he's spell. He's just a captain. <laughs> um, no, he's a captain. <laughs> he's a he got fucked. Bard. Captain Bardell? Yes. Um, Where are your boobs? Bardell? Uh, actually, no. Fuck it. He's gonna oh, use... Vera. I got it. He's just gonna use Cutlass. Cause, you know... Is he attacking me or... Wolf, I mean, Wolfie or Mark? Uh, Mark. Alright. Cause he don't really care about the wolf right now. Cool. He's more distracted by the people who are trying to split his ship asunder. So the Cutlass... Uh, oh, yeah. That's probably gonna hit you. 24 versus your AC. Alright. Uh, moving on while Mark resolves that. Alright, um, um, let, me, let me roll your damage. She's busy oh, right. rolling my damage. That's true. Yeah. I don't have enough D6s. Oh, oh wait. shit. Um, How many do you need? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. There you go. Four. Or six. Wow. Six damage and you're slowed. Oh well. That's actually not as yeah. bad as I was expecting. I rolled a one for the first time. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Alrighty, so the yeah. So right, slow um, means... Half speed. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh... Ow. My turn. Yeah. Alright, what's the, what's the DC and what skill to pull myself up off the railing? Because... DC 10. Uh, uh... Athletics? Can it be acrobatics? <laughs> can I, like, spin myself up like an acrobat? <laughs> I don't think so. I can probably <laughs> just... This will take more strength than skill. Okay, fine. I need to roll a six or better. Uh, is this a minor action? Or five. Uh, let's call it a move. Hmm... All right, in that. Because it'd be like standing yourself up. Right, so. I I understand. Oh yeah, Mark, you're down. You you fell. Remember? Ah, uh, you you just said slowed. No, you slipped when you dropped the wolf. Oh that yeah, she uh, did say uh, that. Okay, yeah. I thought that was just being you know. Lovely. All right, I'm up. No, uh, it's just, you know. I'm gonna be up. No, I'm a dick. That's what I, do. I hate you. <laughs> All right, and let's see. I'm gonna drop an action point. Uh, that really mm. sucks because I have no melee. Let's see. Whee! Hold on. Let's see how this power works. It's okay. If you guys get your shit fucked up too bad, then Captain Sardis is obviously going to have to jump in to save his ship. Well, I mean, the. So. Motherfucker. Okay, uh, yeah. For, I'm going to command Dogmeat to attack this asshole. Okay. Can you push him back one, maybe? Uh, I don't think I can do that. Sorry. How is he steering okay, so, the two ships? Hold on. Shh, shh, exactly! Hold so he's just sitting there! Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I used a move action to get up there. Now I'm going to use a free the action. Winds are blowing. It's hard I'm going to use a free <laughs> action to put an assassin shroud on him. Okay, which does? Uh, you'll find out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Pretty much. And now I'm going to use a synchronized strike, which makes dog meat attack him. So that's 16 versus his AC. Uh, no. All right, didn't think so, but that's fine because that lets me do a secondary attack either way. Oh, shit, probably Captain should have gone like way first. Oopsie. <laughs> All right, that is a tw- nineteen versus his reflex. Where's the reflex? Yeah, that'll hit. All right, and I do ten points of damage to him. You're standing up. I don't know. You're really excited about this. I am. <laughs> I haven't played in like. Two I mean, years. I look over and you're like, yes. How much was that? 16? That's ten points of damage. Oh, 10. Ten points. Of, oh, hold on. That was ten points of damage, and I detonate my shroud on him for six points of damage. So that is sixteen points of damage. Ow. Eat shadow magic, bitch. <sighs> Actually, wait. Next turn, I can push him one. Well, that doesn't help me now. Well, I know that doesn't help you now, but you can shift. Alrighty. So I have to stand up. All right. Yeah. You can use another move action. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> You're a cleric. You're fine. In fact, why aren't you wearing heavy armor anyway? I spent all my money on my holy symbol. You don't need a magic. holy symbol. <laughs> I'm just gonna use magic. It doesn't help you unless it's magical. Not my fault. It, yeah, it does. It gives me a plus one to attack, and if I roll a crit, it does extra damage. Mm-hmm. Nine versus reflex. Uh, on not him. worth it. For uh, you know what? It's a one-shot I'm, character, so shut no, your mouth. Damn it. Okay. Uh, all right, so... Bicep. Are you Mark done? Up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stand up. That's your move action. I would suggest either shifting away or hitting him with a melee weapon if you have one. I don't. Punch him. For fuck's sake, punch him. Yeah, so I'm just, what do I need to do to shift back? Is that an action point? Or? No, that's just another move action, okay. so shifty shift shift. Okay, Alright, Wolfie tank. tank. Well, I can me. still attack now. You used a move action to stand up, 
and you used a move action to shift back, so you'd have to spend an action point. Oh, okay. See, that's what I'm asking. Right. So, yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of his range. All right, till he shifts. That's but. not quite out of range. Shut up! <laughs> All right, uh, Erica, you're up. All right, well, um, obviously Mage goes first, because he's mage-ish. <coughs> uh, he's going to drop Magic Missile. Bring it. On... Seth. Come on, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Dude, he does have cool. line of sight, so he doesn't take any <coughs> much columns. Any penalties, aren't Yeah, so. penalties. Uh, it's mage duel. You hit. Three versus your She hits. Stuff. It hits. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh. Where are my dice? Where are you? Just roll a d8, Erica. <laughs> uh. Wow. These guys are failing bad. I'm sorry, wait. Everyone's. <laughs> Six, seven plus force damage, but I don't really care. So you have twelve hit points. What is force damage? It magic. It's just a damage type. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like fire damage or acid. So I do. Do I need to take four more? No. Yeah. You're good. <coughs> okay. So Capitan. Yep. Mon Capitan is obviously still pony noobs. So uh, he is gonna move right here, and since you kind of aggroed him with some serious damage, he's gonna drop. No serious damage? Holy shit. Well, oh, damage. yep. Did he shift or is he moving? He shifted. So, since you were like the only one to damage him, obviously, that's... Uh, he's going to use <coughs> Vicious Mockery. And uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's going to hit you. With a... Well, it's a power. So, what does it do? Um, like to roll to the head, you, don't you provoke an opportunity attack from me. What? So, don't yeah. you have to roll to hit? What the fuck's this going on? Sick. Okay, vi- read me the power description, I'll tell you what Vicious it does. Vicious Mockery, minor recharge 6, close burst 5, target 1 enemy, the target provokes an opportunity attack from each enemy that's adjacent to it. Alright, so yeah, okay, yeah. bring it. Okay, so... Uh, give me a melee basic attack. Yep. Because that's, that's what an opportunity is. Uh, 26 versus your AC. That'll do it. Yep. And uh, that's, a, I'm presuming, versus my character versus Wolfie. Okay. I'm assuming you guys are two are both linked, so does that mean I get to attack both of you? No. I mean, we're two separate characters. We okay. both have our own hit point pools and stats and everything. Okay, yeah. Um, so he's attacking my character, the yeah, half-elf. Because yeah. okay. Wolfie hasn't really done anything to him. Other well, Wolfie's than letting you use some cool powers. He so. on his leg. Um, you are now my bitch, oh my says God, Wolfie and dog. So bad. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> seven, ten damage. All right. And you explode. Fine. All right. And that's about all he's going to do. Alright, so, my turn again. Yep. Alright, and I'm going to put another shroud on him. That's uh, all I have for this encounter. And I've used synchronized strike. So let's see. Hmm. Oh, I think I can actually... Mm. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to shift to this square. Move... Oh, no, wait. Hmm. God damn it, I wish shifting wasn't a move action. Don't we all? I know, right? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna move. No, I'll stay where I am. Fuck it. All right. I know. I'm trying to figure out the Jeremy's best way to use confused. this power. No, I'm not confused. I'm trying to figure out. I was. I want to move him away from you, but unfortunately, the only way I can do that is by provoking an opportunity attack. Oh yeah, I probably should attack you, shouldn't I? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, you really shouldn't have. Really should have. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Mark, can you heal me next turn? Uh, sure. Thanks. You need it? Uh, I'm probably, I'm going to if I help you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to <clears throat> a provoke an attack of opportunity and move there. So, attack of opportunity attack from him. Oh, yep. It's cutlass. <clears throat> 22. Yep, that'll do it. Yep. I can heal you. Alright, <clears throat> appreciate it. Uh, 11, hold on, 12, 13, 14 damage, and you're still... Holy lord. I can heal you. That's much appreciated now. (laughs) Okay, so, since I don't have a weapon in my hand at this point, I've tossed my hand axes, I assume a monk's martial artist stance. (laughs) What? 
class are you? I am a ranger. I took half elf dilettante to get monk powers. I mean, seriously. And I am multi class as an assassin. <laughs> I che- I checked this with I put this build past Wizards of the Coast itself. They said everything I mean, legal. Seriously, you're like I'm a ranger. I'm a bard. I'm an no, assassin. I'm not a bard. You no, said I, you were a bard yesterday. I was going to, but then I saw all this extra damage I could do by being an assassin. Bard, yeah, I mean seriously. So yes, I spent years studying with the battle monks of Zaratur. I was once an initiate of a dragon slayer. Just to attack, dude. Oh, Captain fine. says he doesn't give a shit. No country. <laughs> oh fine, God. <laughs> Cleric says I just you shut up. I won't hear you. All right, that's. A 20 versus his fortitude. Ah, uh, yeah, they'll hit. Thought so. Okay. Let's dance, <clears throat> bitch. Let's see. That's a 13, and he's pushed one. Okay. Whoop-a! Wow. Okay. I know, right? Mm-hmm. He's still not bloody yet, by the way. I have four hit points left. I'm healing you. I know. God, you're so that. whiny. Is dog meat good? Mage is still and dog, uh, yeah, dog meat. Dog meat can't attack. He can't? Mm-hmm. No, I have oh, to use my actions to mm-hmm. command him. Mm-hmm. So heads up for that, Erica, in the future. For what? Since you're playing a Beastmaster Ranger in Seth's campaign, just mm-hmm. heads up, you have to use your actions to command your Beast Companion. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of gay. Uh, so, speaking of my campaign, Sintar uh, Tengu Human? Yes. Do we know what Andy's gonna play? No. Nope. Nope. We don't know. even know if Andy is playing. Yeah. Because he said like one word about this whole campaign. I haven't oh. even rolled in my character. Me neither. I have. I rolled up three of them. Um. You can play them. I'm We're good. Uh, if it can. Uh. uh kind of. Hold on. So can you fears hold that off until we're done with this encounter? Because gotcha. mm-hmm. I have precious video time. Mm-hmm. So. So actually, I guess that is Seth's yeah, turn. Yeah. Actually, okay. so if um, you could like hold on, what do? You, holy shit! Use ass. No. Yeah, use <laughs> burning hands. Holy shit! Use an encounter uh, power. Yeah, use burning hands to get him the fuck away. Or no, that's fuck. That's creatures in blast. No, don't do that. Yeah, obviously. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use an attitude. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I guess. Unless you. No wait, please use it. Well, <laughs> I mean, you could use sleep, but that might. Hit Mark and Wolf. Please don't. Too and it doesn't do any damage. That'll be a problem since you need help. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I I'm guess gonna... he's magic missile, but. Buy the power. Yeah. Alright. Shitting magic missile. Um, That's a 13 versus a reflex. Yeah. Against Captain? Yeah, mm-hmm. the Captain. 13 versus 13 reflex? versus reflex? Nope. Alright. Mark him. <laughs> and uh, uh, shift back. Alright. Uh, heal Jeremy. Alright. Actually, if you could move, like, way back, that'd probably be better off for you. And then I'll do an attack opportunity. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that's all I can do right now. Okay, and if I move, then I can't heal you. Right. Point made. Yes. I'll tell you my direction. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, um... Action, spend a healing surge with an additional... Two hit points. Plus your whiz mod. Oh, so five. five. All right, okay. so surge value is seven plus five, so that is a... Twelve. So I am unbloodied. Minor, I'm going to drop a daily on him. Holy shit! Well, do you think that's good or wise? Um, I don't know anything drop about this adventure past this encounter, so I don't know. Drop a daily. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm just saying because yeah. I know there's at least two encoun- combat yeah. encounters. Yeah. So let's use an, an encounter right now. I already used it. You only have one. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a minor. All right, fair or, enough. You know, that's, that's only against enemies. All right, then. Well. Use an at will. Okay, so I'll just use a uh, Lance of Faith. All right. Um, I'm going to assume uh, 21 versus his reflex. Yep. Yay. Got daily in this bitch. Mm-hmm. So that's 1d8. Uh, so that is... Uh, Seven points of damage, and Jeremy gets a plus two power bonus to, to his next attack roll against the target. Okay. Sweet. Yep. Because. <laughs> oh, I have a great power. I can't believe Mage missed his Thunderburst and Dancing Lightning. I know, right? Okay, <laughs> so. He's not a very good mage. Mm-hmm. He's not. So, yep. Yeah. powers, you just missed <laughs> Go, <laughs> Captain, go! Yep, basically. Captain's gotta tank this bitch. Um, okay, these five bitches. Yeah. So, Meiji Boy is going to use magic missiles. Surprise, surprise. Right. Ooh. 
You, you hit us. Hold on. 23 versus Jeremy's reflex. Hold on a sec. No, no matter how much cover I have, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Okay, so yeah, I get hit. Um, bum, bum, bum. That's... <clears throat> Freaking old school magic missile. Does way too much damage. Oops. Six, seven, eight. Eight damage. So. Hey, if you... <laughs> if you could heal me more. Like, uh... Um, I, I'm so... sorry, but... I'm he tanking here. Because he really likes his little hidey hole. His cover. His cover. Cover. Is Captain obviously. bloodied yet? No. Alright, I uh, see. No, he's not. He's going to sprint over here. Uh, he's, huh. he's like, you killed him! Fuck you, I kill you! No. I think that archery from Jeremy. Um, uh, yeah, actually. Wait, so. where was he? He was here, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, tech okay. opportunity. Soup. Soup, yeah. Fuck. Yep, still. Well, attack up opportunity from Wolfie, actually, then. Okay, fine. Yeah. Um, You're getting opportunity no matter what you do. Pretty much. Okay, so let's see. And Wait, first let me roll damage on Mark and then Hold you on, can I see if I... Oh, yeah, if you hit. Why are you going against the clear? Uh, let's see, that's a 20 versus his AC. Nope. What? <laughs> the fuck AC you is this? You missed by one point. What the fuck? You realize fuck we're level one, fuck? right? Yeah, I didn't scale this encounter. This is Erica. low level. And I literally took out... Like two people that are supposed to be fighting you guys right now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Never mind. Go for not it. Not my fault. Wizard of the Coast. Anyway. I'm you. not blaming you. So, for Mark. 26 versus your AC? Yeah. That hits. Figured. Uh, you could not attack six, us. Four, are you about to go down? Five, no. Maybe. Six, seven, eight, Is that like an 18? Eight, eight damage on you and you're slowed again. Actually. I'm pretty close. <laughs> All right. That's about it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Sex being super effective while hugging okay. the, the mast. Okay. Let's <laughs> see. I'm going to use Circling Strike. Okay. So that lets Wolfie McWolfenstein. Wolfie McWolfenstein. I thought his name was Dogmeat. Yeah, it is. Or Ambrose or something. Or I'm Am changing Dog it every Dog time Dog I have to refer to him. Really? <laughs> anyway. Jeez. Really? No, All right. No. Ooh, and hold on. I have my assassin shroud still on him. Now I apply my hunter's quarry because I forgot about it. <laughs> I built the most DPS to DPS character I could make, which is good. And you've still not bloodied this guy. I love it. Because I how much HP does he have? A lot. I'm, I'm not, guessing not three digits. Not a lot. No, it's two actually. Uh, upper two. It's two. Yeah, upper two. All right, mm, fair enough. Wizard of the Coast has a. Gigantic part on. For, a horrible day for hitting him. We really are. This anyway, so cool. I'm arcing with my quarry. So, I'm so using sir. No, he can still attack. That's not marking. It's not like a tank mark. Yeah, it's a. He, no, no, no that this is a different kind of mark. It's like yeah, he, I do more damage to him. Wow, useful. I know. Hey, it is useful. Anyway, so circling strike. Goddamn camera, get out of here. Crit. All right, so I do fourteen <clears throat> damage, and I maximize these two dice. So, twenty-six. Yeah, that's twenty-six points of damage. All right, and so actually, this remains on him because that's that will. He is now bloodied, which allows him to. Use so you were saying something, Mark? Sorry, I had to no, we get, put that in. There. All right. Page is still full. I don't oh, know. hold on, and I shift back one. Oh, uh, that's so nice for you. No. He's going to come after one of us anyway, and if he comes after me, he gets attack of opportunity. Maybe. Oh, so of course you go after the squishy mage. Yeah. The one who's going to heal his sorry ass. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Again. Anymore. I think i got to heal myself. Fine, it doesn't matter. He can just shift anyway, so. Um, alright. Seth, go. Yeah, Seth, go. Or, hey, go. hold on. Seth, 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 Seth. Stop, stop, Cancel stop. action. Cancel action. No cover. Now go. Because otherwise he'd have like plus four ace. Magic ace's. missile. Um, Still get a ten, but. Fourteen versus reflex. That'll hit. Really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, surprisingly, his reflex is not his best stat. I'm surprised. Fortitude is lower, but reflex isn't his best. Uh. Do we have any versus fortitude uh, abilities? Uh, six plus four force damage. Nope. Okay. Mine are all will so and reflex. I've used my versus four. Sweet. Okay, and Mark, you're up. Uh, heal one of us. I don't care which at this point. 
How much HP do you have? I have eight. Yeah, heal him. Yeah. Yeah. Heal me, because otherwise... Okay, so healing surge plus... Six. Uh, nine. Plus nine. Okay, uh, that makes it 16, so okay, I've since, taken four points of damage. And since that is minor, I'm going to use... Oh, yay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to use a Sacred Flame on the captain. Never mind. Or not. Yep. Okay, Captain. Captain is... Come at me, bro! <laughs> Please draw his attention. I give him the finger and start doing the, you know, the robot. I need a little damn. Grab his attention. Roll infuriate. All right. Can, what, what do I roll for that? Intimidate or bluff? Bluff. bluff? Go All right. Bluff. Yeah. And he's Let's see. My bluff is just raw charisma, so plus two. Sadly. Wow. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. I'm dead. Mm. So he sees right through your ruse. And marches himself. I'm sorry, Mark. I tried. Cleric. That was the math of stuff. I understand. You did make an effort. And he's, of course, going to use his cutlass because his other All stuff. Right. Miss, 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 miss. Fifteen? Damn it. Versus AC. Damn okay. it. Told you to wear hair, you are. Shut up! <laughs> you told me this two seconds ago. Four. Told it before we Six. started. Uh, Seventy-nine. Nine okay. damage. You wear chainmail. That's what you do. And he's going to respond to your bluff with a HA! I would greatly like another ship! Y'all are losing your pathetic little ship. Yeah, I'm going not to. Not that this is our ship, but we will not let you have it, sir! I'm really, literally about to go down. I have one okay. point left. Okay. Wow. Um, uh, let's well, then, see. Seeing yep. your. Whoops, dire straits. Uh, well, finally! Captain Sardis decides to stop I mean, hot oh, damn, what has he been doing this entire time? <laughs> <laughs> you put it on autopilot, damn it! Stop steering his non motioning ship! Exactly! And, well, this is stairs, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's gonna flank for you. Wait, is that That's not No, that's not a flank. Oh, well. If he just could. distract him, please! Okay. Alright, so he's gonna go over there, and let's see, I don't know what he carries. Let's say another cutlass. Uh, Use the same stat block. Essentially. Oh. Um. That went far. Well, actually, I have, an, I have another one. It's right there, set next to your hand. Let's get a long sword instead. Uh, cool. Hello there. He must have been a knight at some point in the past. Uh, or stole it from a knight. Yeah. I didn't know he was a pirate, too. We probably one of the Reformed game. pirates. Yeah, he's he's basically been paid to hunt down pirates. Because he was once a pirate. Uh, huh. I lost count. 17, 18, 19, 20. It hits. Versus your AC. Yeah, okay. Versus whose AC? Uh, oh, his... Oh, okay. So, no, that misses, actually. Goddamn high AC. Yep. Okay, I'm well. Uh, no, that was the captain's the turn, so it's my yard. turn now. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, did Mage go? Uh, Mage can't do anything. He's got magic missile. Yeah. Attack the other wizard. Yeah, that's what he's <laughs> probably going to do. Because he can't really... Well, he could hit you guys. Well, Please don't. Could, but we have, like, three... Yeah, you have cover. Three um, times cover. Plus, you got a giant-ass mast in the way. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, he's going to attack the other... Dude, who's person who's only been attacking him this entire thing about what's him? So time, 15, yeah. 15, 15, 16, 17, 18 versus your reflex stuff. Hit. Okay, six, eight, nine damage. You're fine. Nine. Not really. Nine. Not really at all. No, she's not. I'm at three out of twenty-three. I'm fine. <laughs> so kill this motherfucker. I'm trying, damn it. Damn. Where did I put this sheet about what happens with characters? Hold on, uh, Erica. How much HP does the bad guy captain have? I mean, left? seriously. Uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Can Maybe. you kill him? I think so. Kill him. Okay. You gotta hit him uh, first. Well, Shut yeah. up. <laughs> exactly. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna use hit and run. Okay. What is that? Now, Wendy, do you do yeah. nine points of damage? I do 14 plus 1d6, so yeah, he dies. All right, so the captain dies, <laughs> spreading blood to his neck in a girl dramatic death. Okay, wow. Oh, but I'm <laughs> slain. <laughs> Shut up, Polonius. I'm slain. All right. We still got an AG to do yep, with. Yep, the mage is obviously... Uh, you know what? I pick up my down. hand axe and throw it at him. He dies. Uh, roll for it. Yeah, you're all <laughs> damage, or roll the hit. Yep. Wait... <laughs> That's still a 10. Versus his what? AC. Nope. I pick up my hand axe again. <laughs> um, he's gonna roll... Running out of you, uh, so it's not his turn. Oh, you're right. 
It's Seth's turn. Seth. Seth, kill that motherfucker and then run. Magic missile. He's actually got a lot of HP left. Uh, I bet. You miss. Okay, Mark, Nine you're versus I can't hit him from this far. I only have one HP. I ain't doing shit. All right. Try and heal stuff. You can't. I can't. He's out. Oh, you're out. I'm, I'm the only person my left. I'm on this motherfucker. Wow. Hey, I killed him. I did most of the damage on him. So blah, piss off. blah, blah. Okay, in that case, that Is makes... Is he sense. undead? No, Darn. he's just a ship's mage. <laughs> anyway, well, he could be a revenant. Anyway, <laughs> so is it my turn yet? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. And yeah, what do I need to shit. swing across again? Ac- acrobatics. Ac- ac- yeah, acrobatics. That's right. Excellent. Damn. That's a twenty-one. Shoop. DC ten. You didn't have to get that high. I'm kind right. of. Damn it, Wolfie! Get back here. <laughs> Can I have the cat and throw my wolf over? I need him. I'm um, a big lady. Is, could try, but I'm I six I'm feet, sure. one eighty no, pounds. Because, no, because they're going off Never the, the picture. Mind, then. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Okay, in the this guy pretty fast. That's no. fine. Uh, Which is funny because I'm six foot with 135 pounds. Oh god. Oh wait. Uh, what? Hold on. Where did I put the cat? Gotta lay off the. What's going on now? Oh god. Oh god. He's just chilling dead there. All right. Okay. So he was. In case you guys like. What happened to the homeboy? Can I retroactively loot him? You guys can all loot him. He's got a shit ton of gold. And I mean, once you kill the mage, you'll have the ship to loot. So. All right. Fair enough. For 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 looting the dead captain. Uh, You get the gold. Sweet. I'm trying to help. You're the only one. You're you left. I'm the only one who can help. Yeah. Fuck off. You left, so I'm just gonna okay. take. Oh, by the way, on do. the way, I pick up my fucking hand axes. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm running out of those axes. Axe, axe, axe. There we go. Yeah. I'm sorry. There, I do have a limited number of them. Can I, I take his cutlass? I have two left. Um, I don't think you can wield that. No, you can't. I can. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Does he have like a dagger or something? No. Yep, okay, so, I'm going to use a uh, circling so, strike again. He's got spells <clears throat> instead. Mm, makes sense. Uh, let's try a... This guy can probably kill pretty fast. 13 versus AC. Uh, no, actually. <laughs> again, level one. Yeah, yeah. God damn it, Captain Sarge, just get over here. Okay, could you guys, at least Seth, can you provide fire support? Yeah. Because I'm taking it. Jeremy. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, I Seth, if you could move one, two, three, you have... Okay. He still has light cover, but still, yeah. that's like plus two. There you go. That was kind there of a go. fail roll. I was hey, like, oh, it, it rolled well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Enough. A fail 17 success. versus reflex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll hit. Yay. 10 damage on Okay. Oh, and I well, make him my quarry, because that's a free action. Okie dokie, uh, he's going to use magic missile on you, surprise, surprise. Uh, on who? Wait. Because if he does anything, I get attack of opportunity. Yep. Range attacks and melee. Sucks. Then he's going to use his quarterstaff instead. Bring it. Your mage. He probably yeah. won't succeed that well. Yeah. yeah, 12 versus your AC. Piss off. Yeah, I'm wearing awesome. heavy armor. Well, not heavy armor, but... I have high depth. He whimpers and begs for his life. What sort of armor? Sir, I will spare you, but you must surrender now. I surrender. I surrender. I'm All only right. a mage. I, I turn. Hold on. Before okay. that, I turn him around, push him down onto his knees, pull the rope out of my belt, and bind him up in manacles. Okie dokie. He's now bound, and. What's his name? Because I'm going to try and persuade him to be my companion. Bill. Jared. Jared. Fair enough. And there's still time. Oh, yeah, guy. that dude. In case you In that case, I'm going to go I over here. Him. <laughs> with this guy slumped over my shoulder, I go over and cut his bonds with my hand axe. Oh, okay. Shink. Okay, I have a question. I have an answer. What sort of armor is the captain wearing? Heavy. The dead one. No. What? Um. <laughs> Why not? You can't Just wear it. Just no. No. Can I wear it? No. Nope. What kind of armor is it? It's level 5 armor, dude. Oh. What? No. Hold on. The person's level doesn't have anything to do with the actual armor no, item. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, it's just like a plus one, plus two, plus zero. Literally all his equipment to him is cutlass. That's it. Oh. Uh, no armor. In that case, he's, he's wearing ropes. Yeah. In that case, yeah, someone throw me his cutlass. I might be able to use it. Yeah, I'll, I'll toss it over. Can you? Clink. Uh, I can wield any melee weapon, so, yeah. 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 What sort of what? armor is the mage wearing? Robes. What damage <laughs> dice does the cutlass do? Uh, 2d6. She is better than what I got. And yep. Cutlass is proficiency 3, so yeah. Sweet. Mm. And, uh, this is a 
uh, Pyrus Cutlass, so whenever you hit, you get 2d6, and the target's slowed. Sweet. Save okay, ends. question. What about it's the it. other random dudes we kill on the They're ship? They're They had long swords. No, I'm talking armor-wise. No, they didn't have any. <laughs> Literally, all they have is Cutlass. And swarthy accents. Well, I don't. Yarn. I don't really need a swarthy accent. <laughs> I do. Could be useful later on. <laughs> Does the anyway. mage have any sort of useful? Hey, mine. Anyway. Piss off. <laughs> well, he. Well, we gotta get, you know disarm Jeremy's him. Jeremy's character haunts him into submission. <laughs> okay, Lyris. <laughs> and Lyrus. kisses on him like a dog to claim his territory. Yes, but you you have no use for arcane mage items. I'm not saying I want his items. I want him. Yes, but we're just gonna take the items from him. You can keep them all you want. Right, well, we don't want him, we want his shit. I understand that, but There's I'm saying guy he's not useful to me. If he, he cut him. Down. Yeah, I cut he him, cut him, cut him, cut cut him free. free. My bad. Are you alright, sir? Uh, I'm unharmed. Thank you for your assistance. You're most welcome. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, come, come with us. Let's get back to our ship. Your wreck is not likely to be going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. This was my first ship and my first chance at, a, at command. My father will be so sad. Undoubtedly. Nevertheless, we must all learn from our mistakes. Now, come away before we catch some sort of terrible disease from these corpses. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna swing over. I'm just gonna let you take 20, because, like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I missed. Okay, okay so, so, can, can. so there's no use to have the captain around anymore, right? Unless anyone else right. wants to loot him. Well, unless you want I to did loot, him. loot the ship. He has one item. You just took... Yeah. Alright, I, w- I roll to loot the pirate ship. Okay. Wait for it. 18! Or 16. Gold. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so let's dump the captain do, do overboard. You wanna, do you want to loot I'll, somebody? I'll loot for. Like, does the mage have anything useful at all? Mine! Roll okay, just let her have the freaking oh, items, yeah. Jeremy. No, he, he doesn't have anything. He really doesn't. I'll just roll two. You got robes and gold, that's, that's better. What about the staff? You can have the golds. I'll just. I don't care. I'll just loot the. If she has shit. a staff. What kind of staff is yeah. it? It's a staff. It's a quarter mm. staff. Like bonuses what do I add to that? anything? No. Okay. What do I add to that? Perception? Perception. I think that was a nine. I don't know how it Yeah, you didn't loot your prisoner, you just tied him up, so it's free reign. I don't yes. want to loot him. I want him to become my companion so he can use that shit. He's a pirate, he'll stab you in the back faster. Exactly. I can as I think we just determined I can stab him faster. Oh, I lead through the That doesn't mean he still won't try. So and he'll die, but this he might be useful. This wreck has sunk by now, and what? the lovely ship Empty Sky is still floating off the course. So, Captain Sardis suggests that uh, he be given command of the ship, take down the flag, and bring it into port. Hopefully he'll get a reward for the ship, and if not, he can become an admiral now. I put up a finger and say, Sir, I do believe most of the work in capturing the ship was done by myself and my boon companions here. If you intend to get a reward, I suggest... You will be sharing that. Indeed. Aye, but you wouldn't have reached this pirate ship lest you were on my gallows. Yet, and yet on you your gallows... And without our help. What he said. I'm pretty sure you could have taken him single-handed. Just uh, apparently like, not. Shit! <laughs> he just sat there and watched you and then pretty much won the fight. Anyway. Uh, oh, he considering points. he the only attack he made, he missed. He never got attacked. He did not do shit. Yeah, but he could have. But he didn't. So again... Could have, would have, should have. My rules. Mutiny. Adam Mutiny. No. Adam no. Character. I'm a no. Yeah. Hold on. I spent healing surges. Yeah. Yeah. You do recognize. Very valid point. Uh, well, no. Uh, I'll just let you have that lovely surprise when you pull in. Uh. Okay. No, I mean, I'm not saying we should mutiny. I'm just saying before Mark gets us in trouble, I want to be healed up to full. Mm-hmm. Besides, he does four. have a crew below deck. Where the fuck were what they? The hell? <laughs> They, they not hear shouts of, you know, oh my God. any sort of altercation happening? Okay. That would be too boring. They were busy eating shit and God, fucking strumpets, so... <laughs> I go below so that we have finished that. I'm going to interrogate my new uh, hostage. Okay. I'm going to throw the captain overboard that's dead. Bye. Bye. I'm going to walk captain. up to the actual uh, Our Sardis. Captain. Yeah. Sardis. Like a rogue. Where is he? Oh. Yeah. You're the dead captain. <laughs> Can I roll to, uh... uh that sucks. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter. I was gonna be like... You sure okay, you wanna, wanna split the reward with a lady? 
What would that be? I'll split the reward with a lady. Oh, you're gonna get a reward. I'll split something. Your only reward. Oh, Jeremy. Your only reward is the captive mage, which you're not sharing with anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna roll. I'll share with you. I'm interrogating someone. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I was trying. I'm gonna roll to bluff the she's captain. She's trying to persuade the captain to share. He's trying to interrogate oh. his new butt buddy. Tin bluff. Are you sure you wouldn't want to split the reward with a lady? I approach Seth and say, I'll split the reward with a lady. Um, he stares at you strangely and says, oh You do recognize there's no reward for pirates. When you bring them in, they just hang. The reason I'm hired is to avoid privateers such as yourself. But you could sell the ship. We're not pirates. I'm and keeping your ship. Fuck you. <laughs> what is this one called again? What do I roll to hijack but the ship? My captain. You're one man. You can't <laughs> sail a galley. Jesus. Uh, are you old? <laughs> I am not affiliated with you. Yes, okay. you are. Captain anyway, okay, Sardis fine. is smack you around. Hey, wait. Bit. I didn't say that out loud. I think Me. we all... I say it in my head. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so back to interrogating Jared. I slam Pirate him page, up against Pirate. the mast and say, Where are you based? Are there other ships like yours? Uh, no, I was privately hired. I Privately hired from where? By who? I don't know. The captain kept his secrets to himself. The so captain... He's become British. <laughs> I <laughs> get... Wait, hold on. <laughs> I give him a long pause and say, You don't know where you were hired from. No! Do you have amnesia, sir? <laughs> Would you like a new job? He shudders. Um... Dare I, I ask? I plead insanity. <laughs> <laughs> what I can't what hear. Of job is, it, do you require me, sir? Blame. It's a paid job. I'll tell you that from up front. Gold? But indeed, gold. Copper. <laughs> gold. Not much up front, but there will be more in the future. Come with us. Become our companion. Um. Again, not affiliated with you. I'm slightly against working with pirates. Mm-hmm. If I go into port and they discover I'm a pirate, I'll hang from the noose. I oh, pull out an extra oh. hat and sort of put it over his face. No one will ever know. Money is still no good to dead men. Well, so I'll tell you. Th- I'll tell it to you this way: <laughs> so you can either come involved. with us and risk being caught, or you can be caught right now and hang for certain. How much gold are you, play- are you paying? Does it matter? It's your life. Fifty gold up front. More in the future. For a one-year contract with the option to renew, you do not get health benefits. <laughs> Hell, is this? Perhaps I'll tag along for a bit. If my protection is guaranteed. Of course as long as you don't attack us. Of course he doesn't get health Can benefits. Our cleric is out of search. <laughs> <laughs> it's an enemy encounter. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's an encounter power. Okay, so. Okay. 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 <coughs> I need to find right, so Although I'm going to be healing it. I, you know. Hey, he's higher level than us. I'm just saying. Have a stat block. <laughs> just because I'm the cleric doesn't mean I'm going to be healing, you know, yeah. a Ramscallion. So. Can I have a stat block? A Ramscallion. Yeah. No, a stat block. Oh, stat block, like, yes. Character sheet, powers, that back. stuff. All that shit. Uh, I'll just tear it up. Well, you're well now you that. have a new wolf companion. Can I look up the okay phase? No. Okay. <laughs> donka donka. Exactly. So, continue All right. to pour. On to the story. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so you guys are done? Did we get extra um, well, I really don't want to go and have sex with a diseased Well, there's a dude that you just rescued from a pirate ship. No one's talked to him yet. Oh, right. I was, uh, sorry, uh, I was yeah, busy yeah. with something <laughs> slightly more pressing. Yeah, him. So I go up to him oh, and ask, uh, what is your name, good sir? I'm Tom Blacktree. <laughs> His name's Anton. Anton. Hi, your wife. Yankovic. Hi, your kids. <laughs> and hi, your husband, because they... Hey, we've been everybody been. out there. Well, actually, I've been known to have a few encounters with ladies. A long I'm pause. Wait, convinced. what? <laughs> There's a reason they call me a knight of the gold cock. Whoa. A long pause. I go over there and say, Surely you jest, sir. No, of course. My name is Anton Blacktree. I'm the son of Lord Blacktree. Is he? Well then, like... we appreciate your assistance in this rescue operation. Thank you for cooperating so much. Please uh, allow us to escort you back into port. Oh, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I fear that the pirates were hired to kidnap me, but I could not find out who. Well, them. perhaps looting the ship, we might find the captain's personal log. Nope, you won't. <laughs> On that note, we will read it out of Jared. No, I don't say that out loud. I do not say that out loud. Is, 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 is Anton, uh, is you are from stealth benefits, bitch. We ain't killing you yet. Is Antoine handsome or 
suave um, or is he yes, just like? Yes, he's a very dashing. I will present your party with a bag of holding if you so desire it. Yes. Oh, that would be much appreciated, sir. Take. No, you get one bag of holding. You can have it. As long as it doesn't leave my I have a back. I have an actual backpack, so I can hold what little shit I have. I am indebted to you for saving my life and stopping those pirates. I suspect they meant to hold me for ransom. You will be amply rewarded, and I want to buy you dinner at the Grand Griffin Inn when we arrive back in Ravenswood. Well, Out there's a generous character. offer. Black Tree is the former rogue group. Okay. Yes. Rogue family. Okay, yes. yes. But they've pretty much turned... <laughs> yes, yes, they're a reform. All right, so I'm making sure. I tell them that is a most generous nice offer, and we are and honored to take them up on that offer. So mm-hmm. they're Appalachian? Mm-hmm. I actually have a seal. Hold on. You definitely need more props. Ooh. See, she's she's shining. She's outshining you, buddy. I never claim to be a good oh, game master. I, I really never do. <gasps> oh, wow. it's pretty. It is pretty. Hold on. Could you pass I that over, like can't. just the seal, mm-hmm. or just show it to the camera? Yeah. Okay. It's a little hard because there's a letter, and you guys aren't supposed to see that yet. But and it party. It is. Uh. I don't have to, oh. I probably shouldn't have seen the letters either. Oopsie. Oh well. Uh, I meant to keep that tied. That's fine. We we, uh, we get the we get it. Later, later. Anyway. So is Seth going to try and romance this so, random dude? Can I roll to flirt or just generally shoot the shit? I rolled a counter flirt. Cog block. <laughs> roll the cog block. <laughs> he is mine. Uh, eleven. Eleven to flirt or cock block. To flirt. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. I'm let's see. Over. 18 plus said- bluff, so 20 total to cock block. <laughs> oh I'm pretty sure you succeed. Um, what? Uh, did he mention his father's name? The Count of. This Lord Blacktree. Lord Blacktree. It's mentioned That is his here, entire full name. Lord Black. His Lord, 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 Lord Blacktree. In anticipation of his future title, his mother named him Lord. Mama plans yeah. ahead. <laughs> So your father. So like, well, while they're try- fighting over this handsome gentleman, I'm gonna go over here and just not. <laughs> oh, you you a lot of in your weight categories. Is so your father Charles? is Charles Blacktree. Charles he or is Charles? In- Charles. Okay. He is indeed the famed pirate. And- oh dear, I nearly forgot. I'll be right back. I have to return to the pirate ship. What? And he rummages about in the hold of the pirate ship. Okay. And comes up with a. Uh, something wrapped in a bag, <laughs> like okay. a like a burlap sack. Yeah. Uh, slings it over his shoulder and quickly it returns to you. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Might I ask, sir, what do you have in the burlap hobo sack? Uh, he undoes the, oh, that's right. oh. the casing and shows you a most elegantly crafted rapier uh, with the f- black tree family crest on the hilt. Mm. My beautiful sword, worthy of a noble house. It was given to me when I first um, gained knighthood. In uh, in the was it golden rooster tier by my father, and I had hoped that it would protect me from privateers and, and pirates, but obviously that did not happen since. This oh, was... see, raffle mail. Yeah, <laughs> la, la, la. Um, but obviously that did not happen. I, I um, well, yeah. <laughs> allow us to be your sword in the future, sir. We will protect you if you need to venture out again. And most gracious offer, thank you. Not affiliated. No one cares. No, I'm getting lots of. Cleric. Um, well, I did almost die. Rich noble house equals money. What do you not understand? Uh, do you guys oh, wanna... Speaking of which, nope, never mind. Yeah, don't, did, did you get oh, fifty yeah. gold to uh, Jared? No, I did that, but I was looking at some of my notes. The silverfish, the ship that was burning, uh, was originally owned by my father, my family, but it's uh, it's a merchant ship. My father will certainly be angry at me for giving the, getting the crew killed and the loss of the ship. It was my first time in command. I will have to break the news to him whenever he returns to port. He's off fighting pirates, of course, um, and has left the Black Tree Manor to myself, since I am his lone heir. Myself and my Ooh. sister, of course. <laughs> <laughs> myself and my sister, of course. She is a Castellian right now. Um, Can I get a name? I know Lady Teresa Blacktree. Anyway, so, uh, wow, unless we have anything else to do, in... can we proceed to port? Yeah. Uh, I was going to talk with... Um, I'm talking the bedroom stuff. What was his name again? Anton Blacktree. <laughs> Anton, okay, Anton. <laughs> you! Hi, I'm like, I'm like... Hey, Greetings you! Sir, so yes, he is a golden rooster knight, but he does aspire to a higher order, at least Griffin Knight. Who wouldn't? Yeah, I mean, he's kind of bottom of the heap. But again, well, 
He's Anton Factory. You'll you'll hear about him again. Later. I'm he sure we will. But Oblivion, the Knights of the Thorn. I think <clears throat> it is. He reminds me of the Duke's son, who's like, I'm the Duke's son, so I can be a knight and fight demons. Essentially, and, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I see. But uh, before we get back to Port, I'm yeah, gonna be like, involved. so Antoine. How do you generally Antoine, spend your Antoine, not Antoine. <laughs> no, we don't I, I care. Keep, He's I, the I, bed I, intruder. I keep, <laughs> hide the ships, hide the trumpets, and hide the ship. Raven is out there. Yeah. Um, so, is it Antoine? Like Antoine. 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 There's no twa. So, Antoine, Antoine, how do you generally Antoine. spend your time at Antoine. Raven's Bluff? Being a noble and all. Sorry, what was that? Run that by me again. How He's often asking what is, is it, what are her, his hobbies? Pretty much. Well, to be honest, I'm, I'm usually rich. busy. Um, <laughs> doing knightly things, but the the really uh, the only real advantages of being noble are the social invitations and you know credit with businesses in the city and never waiting in lines, of course. But uh, usually, I'm just palling around with a friend of mine. Uh, he's also a knight. Oh, <coughs> Sir Reginald Longbottle was his name. Ah, we grew up together. Good man. Though, he did always succeed a bit more than I did. He was always a better knight. That's why he's a, he's a raven knight as of now, if I recall, according to his letters. Shit. Out of character? Uh, you so, you mentioned your sister <laughs> is... Yeah, yeah. So pretty much, here's <laughs> Anton. Here's his BFF. I oh, think shit. he's just a pity friend. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm friend with the golden rooster. How kind of you. He's, he's, he's anyway, so, uh, as Seth's attempting and failing to flirt... No. I see. So you mentioned your sister is cast on in your absence. Oh, uh, yes, she is. Um, <coughs> you are certainly free to visit her after we've had dinner at the port. I'll, I'll introduce you if you like. Um, <laughs> huh. But I Sounds must lovely. warn you, she's a bit of an abrasive type. Uh, she always had a better head for leadership than I did. Um, hmm, reminds me of my mother. Reminds <coughs> mm. me, <laughs> me of your mother, too. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you two, son of a bitch! Whoa. Ba Boom! Um, no, that doesn't happen. Yeah. I hope. Uh, okay. The cleric shakes his head. <laughs> yep. The cleric's kind of an asshole. Yes, oh, wait. Uh, um, other, other than that, you really don't do much <clears throat> around Raven's Bluff. Just pal around with my friend uh, Longbottle. And, uh, I also have another friend, um, Miss Raphael, and it's a Raphael. She and I had a little uh, fling way back when. But, uh, we. <laughs> Complications! <laughs> oh! But um, we've we've certainly split, and I, I felt it was rather amicable. Um, she was a close friend, and she's great fun, and she's always thinking of adventurous things to do. So <coughs> she's a good pal around type uh, lady. Oh, I almost said fellow. <laughs> Sometimes she just seems like one of the guys. Huh. Um, she's one of she might be interesting to me as well. Yes, uh, long bottle may or may not so you're be. She's going to be a, a man whore too, here, aren't you? Of, long for bottle both may genders. or may not be at port because he is. He was interested in hunting pirates last time I spoke with him, but he was also occupied with <coughs> pressing matters in Raven's Bluff. Um, what was it? He was investigating, I believe, some sort of smuggling ring, something more like. Hmm, might be worth a look. Um, Companions. So, he's been awful busy. I don't know if he'll be able to stop by. Hold on, OC, pause one second. Mark, what the fuck do you want to do? That We were just handed a plot book. I'm just saying, you don't speak for the party. I, I understand I do, but you don't either, so... And in fact, you don't speak, period. You have barely said anything in character. Well, because... Uh, why should it's I? I'm not trying to romance him, uh, and you're getting all the information I, for me. One of the main reasons I'm traveling to Raven's Blood <clears throat> is to investigate some of the dwarven ruins. Can you... Do you know anything about them? Um... <clears throat> don't know much about them, to be honest. Um, oh, it's no trouble. Perhaps the, you could... The forest southern mm -hmm. underground has been my... F I've been is my family cellars. Uh, you're welcome to drink there if you like. Uh, we have I bet you come drink. down there with me. <laughs> Speaking of why we're here in the city... <laughs> Wait. Oh, you want to know the name of the, the sea? No. The sea of fallen stars. Wait. Her yeah. or her? This is the coach well, really needs to work on the I games. mean, her, but, you know, hey, equal. Alright. In that case. So, yeah. Alright. Yeah, go um, for it. Um, oh, well, yeah. Rather than dilly-dally about, I suggest that we uh, raise sail, eh, Captain? Wait, um, wait, get what? on our way and go to Raven's Bluff, perhaps. You guys can speak, like, about your plans in the open. I'm not going to try and foil them. Sorry. No, 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 I'm, I'm the party. Yeah. That's why I'm trying. <laughs> We're um, like, no. 
<laughs> no, it's, of... it's not against you. It's like, against Mark. I like secret of magic. And you wonder why I'm not a big fan. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, we're cool. So. All right, so he suggests you raise sails. Captain Sardis agrees. I hire that that shit. And you're off to Raven's <clears throat> Bluff. So let's right. retcon that. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Sailing, sailing, sailing. Right. Super exciting. Um, mm-hmm. And the beautiful coastline of Raven's Bluff comes into view. Do you have the same map? You can see the docks right off in the distance, and you are coming in oh, this way, I believe. Somewhere along there. Um, so y- as you pull up to the docks into shallower water, another boat pulls up beside you. Um, a beautiful blue vessel and pulls up right there to greet you and to escort you into port. Captain Sardis rubs his stubbly chin. This is rather odd. Usually, usually... Ah. Usually... Mm. Port security, I presume. Yes, usually... Uh, the. Usually, usually, usually things... the harbor master and a customs officer greet us in port, not the city watch. This is certainly... The hull bears their colors. Hold and on. Oxford is known as, by as that ship approaches us, I pull the captain aside and say, Do you have somewhere where one might hide a few items from a cursory <clears throat> inspection, mayhaps? Oh, down in the hold, of course. I grab uh, Anton and my minion and toss him in the hold. Why not? Why are we tossing Anton in the hold? Is, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's the son of a noble. <laughs> I don't know. I get that would bad, add some legitimacy to this. I know, but I get a bad feeling about this. Tr- so when they, so when they, you know, go down and look through the hold, we find a little woman locked up with a pirate. He's supposed to be in a sp- place to hide something. That's why I asked the captain. Well, I'll go down there with him. Any places on this boat. Fuck. There's the hold and the top floor. All right, never so, mind then. I mean, I'm, I'm just suspicion though. Yeah. The, the captain's great suspicion. The captain escorts you into thing, <coughs> and of course. Well, the captain's a reformed pirate. Why can't Jared? So, uh. Um, I understand that. And We're about stepping Anton. off the beautiful blue and gray painted hull of the Oxford is a. The um, Oxford? Yeah, that's the only ship I had that kind of looked cool. Okay. Um. Is a tall and massive minotaur in the lovely blue and gray brocade <laughs> <laughs> of a city bus. <laughs> Holy shit, minotaurs. Yep. Aww. Elves do not like minotaurs. Um. <clears throat> He stiffly bows to Captain Sardis and shakes his hand and says, uh, Greetings, I am Captain Baroom. Would you mind if I inspect your vessel? I have here a, uh, a warrant to do so. Probably <coughs> flashes a piece of paper. Spartan. I <laughs> raise a hand. Might I have a closer inspection of that warrant? I believe we are entitled to make sure of its legitimacy. <laughs> uh, most certainly. He passes you the warrant, and you can see that it is actually the warrant for the arrest for um, Anton Blacktree. Fuck you, Mark! <laughs> Fuck you! Well then. I fucking told you! <laughs> so about being in law. So he storm, of course, while you're inspecting the. Uh, Anton's in the paper. hidey hole. Yep, he storms through the doors, peeking into sacks and like barrels. Like we're supposed to down, know that. Down into the I hall. haven't read this, I just assumed, you know, geez. We rescue someone? A oh, SWAT oh, ship pulls up? Hmm, connection. Oh, roll perception. So, we know that... Oh, yeah! He fucking finds them both. That's 20 bitches. Anyway, so Well, he... luckily there's no warrant out for Jared. Yeah. He, uh, brings... Although he is hiding yeah, with the fugitives. He brings Jared and says, Lad, uh, there's no warrant out for you, but I don't understand why you didn't come up. Suddenly he's British again. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> understand <laughs> why you are hiding down there, but whatever. Captain uh. boys are none of my business. <laughs> okay, good. I was gonna have to bluff that the, through. Wh- what was it, Captain? It was like, quickly get Baroon. sick, Joy. Ivor Baroom. His. Uh, Ivor Baroom? Yeah, I don't need these. Guys. <laughs> I understand <laughs> that. Although Baroom is a pretty cool ass name for yes. Minotaur. Um, he's obviously very tall. He's very distinguished and elegant. Uh, and. He's got what a the lovely... fuck, Seth? <laughs> the Minotaur. <laughs> You're as bad as I <laughs> am. Seriously. Minotaur and finery. That's a door. He's got he's a lovely little bull standing you can there. Tell he is captain of the City Watch. Uh, the, wow, so so you're, captain you're, so your or person, like just a captain? Puzzle uh, romance is up for arrest. You just move on to the captain. Yep. Um, connections. Yeah. So uh, he does. Yeah, his horns are silver tipped. In case anybody cares, because it goes with his uniform. Can I loot them? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> My horns now. <laughs> I make a helmet. Um, no. Okay. That might be a little um, suspicious. No one will ever know. I'm gonna kind of those horns look surprisingly like mine. up to Barum. Uh, Wait, he's not done arresting Anton. Yeah. Um, so he claps Anton in irons and says, "If I am not mistaken, you are Anton." What the fuck? 
<laughs> Anton Blacktree. As he says that, I go up and I'm going to try and bluff his way through this. I bottle. really would not try. I'm Hold just on. throwing that out there. All right, fine, <laughs> goddammit. I've got um, my healing surges back, or healing word back. <laughs> I know, but I don't think we can take the city watch. Literally, yeah. his inside is plus 12. Yeah, I would not, no. Well. Just, just don't. Uh, so, <laughs> just no. <laughs> if he <laughs> finds your line, you'll be in just as much trouble. I like. I have a 25% chance of success. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to ask, right. why Why is he uh, uh, being, being arrested? arrested? Yeah. He was just about to tell you the charges. Um... Charges conspiracy, torture, and the murder of Sir Reginald Longbottle from the sh- uh, from the lips of Sir Longbottle himself. I spew my coke. <laughs> <laughs> good what? Good lord, sir! What have you done? My orders are to convey uh, Mr. Blacktree to the Nevin Street Compter, where he will await trial. Any and questions? you wanted to fuck that guy. So did you. <laughs> Anton kneels at your feet and says, No, I swear, I wouldn't have done such a thing. Longbottle was my friend. I'm innocent. I step up and say, I can vouch for his honor, <clears throat> sir. This good man would never have done such a thing. It was his friend. Um, my, this is not for me to say. My, if you wish to vouch, hold on. vouch for his honor, then you'll have to do so in court. What was I was going to ask, do you know when this crime might have taken place? Uh, let me see. Up until recently, he's been held captive on his ship. Hmm. I think it was ten days ago, right? Ten days ago. Yes, has ten he, days. out of character, has he been, you know, on his ship for ten days? Yeah. He's yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, you see, this is a land of magic. Teleportation circles can be ri- uh, teleportation written circles up. Minions. A long yes. distance does not necessarily mean an alibi. Very well then, Lord Captain. Do you still have men investigating? And if so, might they object to a handful of seasoned veterans? investigating as well, as we have vested interest in our good friend here. It's a pretty strong case, but you're... F- uh, it's, it's a pretty okay. strong case, but you're free to uh, to investigate. I think. Um, Raven's bluff is off. The, the chief evidence for... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the Orkney Isle! Oh, God! I love Orkney. Those, those isles suck. You suck. The chief um, um, oh, piece of evidence on. for the case against Sir Blacktree is the statement from Longbottle himself. He was raised from the dead a few days ago. He is recovering. Well, yeah, they can raise people from the Well, in that case, could it not have been I a changeling who made who I is the is dead? Necromantic. I think if you so think so, you are free to gather evidence however you like, present them in court. I have no say. I'm just here to arrest. Very well, sir. We'll not hold you further. <laughs> Anton, cause no trouble. We will get you out of this, sir. All right. Uh, if you wish for more details, then by all means, meet me in uh, my office at Ravenstock Castle because I don't have much time to discuss this. Oh. We'll take you up on that oh, offer. Yes, thanks. Yeah, okay. Can I take him up on Robert? God damn it, Seth. God, Seth. <laughs> At least restrict yourself to the nobility. Or the same species. He's the captain of the guard. That's that's like I am. Um, that's like marrying a police chief of this. I would like to mention they still to the lady nobody. that I am indeed married. Yeah, it's uh, out of character, <laughs> Seth. If you're going to be a whore, maybe keep it to your same species. Or at least to a species that won't rip your insides up. Yeah. She must be dealt with. So Anton, of course, is going to beg that you clear my clear my name, find whoever murdered my friend, and bring them to justice. We will, Anton. You have our word. I don't well, see my word. The issue. He was raised from back from the dead. Can I please roll to flirt with? Bob? He's married. Captain. He can have a mistress. Yeah. Captain is getting ready to leave. What the hell? She will the frowns on whores and adulterers. If you'd like to say any last things to him, feel free. But he's. I love you! Um, <laughs> we don't listen to can, friend. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, he knows nothing. Ignore the medicine strumpet. <laughs> yeah. I've been... Oh. Uh, You're trying just... to shag up with a married minotaur. And just so you know... Married to well, while what? Is he married to another minotaur? Mm-hmm. Is he married to another minotaur? I would assume so. It doesn't say it. Why would you assume, you racist? <laughs> Actually, it's a halfling. He's married to a halfling. Hot! <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. so concerned for this party. Anyway. And for you, uh, just in general. Just a thing that I'd like to point out. Uh, even if Anton uses his alibi for being far away at sea, um, A, the teleportation circles will kind of mix you, and any people who have... Uh, witness the fact that he's been gone for ten days are at the bottom of the sea. They burned. No, no, we have one. No, we don't. We, that was a pirate. Yeah. He was only there for like a day. Jared. Like I said, he was a pirate. He was there for a day. Uh, so, yeah. Good bluff, people. 
Insight 12. 25% chance of victory. Um, actually, roll just general insight real quick. Woo! I get an 18 plus my whiz mod, which... Oh, no! 8, 21. 10. Okay. You, uh, suddenly remember that Anton has given you, uh, a clue in some of the things that he said. There is a Black Tree Manor in Raven's Bluff, yeah, and you can certainly sense. find directions in the nearest pub or whatever. Um... <laughs> you, you said he's given us clues in what he said yeah. thus far. Yeah. Yeah. About like an alibi or not necessarily. No, he's just saying you know there's a black tree manor here in town. Yeah. Oh. We could a, go visit them. Of course, by extension, there's also a long bottle manor. That's yes. Also what? Like all of them. Yeah. So. You mean the noble houses have noble houses? Yep. Their houses are very noble. Captain Sardis, however, holds up his hands and says, I will certainly not fight the city watch. I don't want my ship impounded, and I am not a part of this. I won't try and... and <laughs> what the Irish. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Iris... Pick a nation of beef from Sardis! I won't try and free Anton Blacktree. It's not of my business. Blime! <laughs> I know, I keep switching accents. I'm not, I'm not All right, sure. I <laughs> thank the captain, tell him to continue his greedy bastard ways and keep his damn ship, and I get off the floor. All Blime. Oh good, I left it at home because I had another bra. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Uh, la, 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 la. Anyway, so you can feel free to go to the prison that Anton's going to, to talk to him more. Mm -hmm. But to be Don't honest, any further questions at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So where do you want to go? Well, let's see. Can we check you out the Black Tree uh, Manor? You hold on. Did the uh, guard captain mention where the murder was committed? I'm assuming Long Bottom Hall. Um, he did not mention. Long Bottom. A bottle, my bad. <laughs> this is not Neville. Neville. Um, that's who? That's it's a Harry Potter reference. Right. Okay. Oh, no, I know you're talking about. Anyway, okay, so... Let's see. Yeah. I need to go to House Raphael. We um, need to, for investigation purposes, I'll go to House Blackbird. I'll check out House Longbottom. Yeah. Bottle. 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 <laughs> Damn it. You're going to split the party? That's funny. No, I'm just saying, like, we need to go... I don't want to go with either of you. Which, okay, how about this? You go to House Black Tree, she'll go to House Longbottle, I'll go to House go Raphael. Go search random thieves or some shit. Yeah. Go be cleric you somewhere, God, Mark. I'm really surprised you don't want to go to House Black Tree, because there's, like, two or three romanceable characters there. Only one at this point. But like I said, there are multiple mansions, multiple places you can go. You can go to uh, Black Raven Castle, which is Baroom's office. You can go to the prison, talk to Anton, you can... <coughs> Go to Taldivar's mansion, Longbottle's mansion. Um, Any of the mansions. Raphael's mansion, yeah. Black Tree mansion. Pick one. Yes, that's... Of course, you, all, you also know concerned. that there is a newspaper, the, the, the Trump. Yeah. So you could go talk to someone there. It, it really doesn't matter. Have You've you got seen, thousands of options here. Have you seen the Scrubs episode where J.D., like, he views wedding rings as rings of invisibility? He's, like, looking at all potential, like, all the potential women in the hospital... And he's like the ones that are ha like that wear wedding rings turn invisible, and I'm like, it's my room. <laughs> anyway. anyway, okay, so it's let's see. I think concerned. first of all, let's go to House Black Tree and investigate there. Yes. Okay. Right. Um. Suddenly, a stubby little dwarf runs up to you and says, "Greetings, sir." Um. Hello, um, little fellow. Pat, pat. It's a girl. <laughs> Hello, little lady. My name is pat, Kira pat. Stone Shield. Why would you pat someone? If you pat a dwarf on the head, it's good luck. Wow. Really? Read Game of Thrones, yeah. Ooh, that's That's people big. keep petting Tyrion on the oh, head. That's the right one. You're not a dwarf, Seth. You're, You're the tallest finch. person here. I'm taller. Yeah. Barely. Um, greetings. I'm um, okay. I'm Kira Stone Shield, and I'm 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 the Chamberlain of of of. Uh, of it's all right. Black Take your tree. time. Calm down. And 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 um, I I have this message for you. Give it here. Ooh. Rip. Yeah, <clears throat> Dear adventurers, I was alerted of your desire for an audience with me by my family's faithful chamberlain, Kiera Stoneshield. She speaks very highly of you and hopes that you will assist in my family's dilemma. I cannot go into much detail lest this message be intercepted. Please come and meet me at the Black Tree Manor as soon as possible to discuss these urgent matters regarding my brother Anton Black Tree, faithfully yours, Lady Anne Castellan of Black Tree House. Clarissa Blacktree. Clarissa, yes. To write that down. Alrighty. Uh, this sounds very manly. Because you were, some, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's say this is the first you... time we we met this dwarf. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect you to go straight to the Blacktree Manor, but okay. 
So, because you were supposed to run into Kira in some random ass pub. Um, Why would we go to a pub? Yeah. No, There's no adventure in the pub. The adventure's a black tree. Well, mm. well, okay, now we know we need to go to a pub. We don't have to. Well, not anymore. To. Actually, technically it wasn't a pub. I won't tell you what it was because you'll find out later. Anyhow. Okay, so to Manor Black Tree. Yep, to Manor Black Tree. God damn it. Yep. Okay, so yeah, off to uh, the Black Tree. Alright, let's go meet Lady Teresa. I'm going to have the damnedest time saying her name consistently. Just yeah. saying, my lady. That's too impersonal. Or, later. Okay. or it's very respectful seeing that she is my lady of the castle. Kira Manor. leads the way. And then... Lords do not refer to each other as my lord. You're not a lord. How do you know, sir? You don't know anything about me. That's yes, because you didn't introduce yourself. You didn't introduce yourself either, bitch! Bitches don't know shit about no <laughs> None of us introduced ourselves. You didn't even do anything I regarding an introduction. Names. <laughs> okay, can we can we introduce ourselves like standing on the street corner saying, you know, yeah. Jesus Christ, we're it, we're going to investigate something. We should at least know each other's names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by Jesus Christ, I mean a certain deity that you've never heard of from my <laughs> homeland. <laughs> okay. Go first, <laughs> M- Lady Wizard. I'm Silva West Font. Uh, Silva West Font. Um, Silva West Font. Silva West. Isn't Silva the name of the lady of the? Yeah, the Aladrin Noble yeah. House, the leader is Lady Silva. <laughs> okay, then I will be. No, I mean, I'm, it's okay, I'm just oh. saying. It's fine, Seth, don't worry it's about like, it. Please. Okay. Oh, A pleasure to meet you, m'lady. Shaky, shaky. Oh. Oh. Is this and I hear you're in town. I just realized I do not know. No, you don't. Well, that's what we're trying to yeah. finish. What's your name again? Antoine. Anton. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Jenkins. I I had a character rolled up named Leroy Jenkins. Nice. Just he was a dual weapon fighter, and I was like, want to play? No, I shouldn't. Like, why not? That would be epic. Because I would have just died in five minutes. I mean, look at me. I would have Leroy Jenkins off the side of the yes. ship and into the water. Yeah. yeah it is Leroy, so you can so jump. So what? There is no jump key. There is only death. Anyway, That's okay. Really a pleasure key. to meet you, cleric, my good friend. Yes, I am Armel, cleric of Corlin. Okay, Armel Silva, and what's your face? <laughs> Hold on, let me. Write nice. That down. Cleric of what? Corlin. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. At your service. And you, my good sir. My name is Kyrick Varharan. I am a ranger of Waterdeep. My mother is a high sorceress there, and I have come on important state business. Could you repeat that name? Kyrick Varharan. Kyrick Varharan. Kyrick Varharan. I'm just going to say... Kyrick. Yeah, basically. Or... Varharan. Come here. My friends call me Kai. Okay, okay that's, that's easy enough. Yep, I can do that. Alright, so Kai, Armel, and Silva. Alrighty, so now that you've introduced yourself, you are shown into Black Tree Manor, and um, Kira Stone Shield sits you in a, in a sitting room, and you await Sherissa's arrival. She does come pretty promptly. She likes waiting. She likes making people wait on her. Of course. Um, <laughs> What's one of the few, you know, fun things you can do as a noble? Yeah. And uh, she uh, arrives in a, in a beautiful... Rough skil- silk dress, a rich burgundy color, and of course adorn her. Yeah, she looks yeah. like a noble. She's got a lot of jewels and shit. She's uh, fancy. And she Blame. seats herself in a ruffle of skirts and uh, adjusts herself and addresses you. On a um, scale of one to ten. Pretty? How pretty is she? Um, I mean, she's got dark hair, greenish eyes. She's pretty attractive. <laughs> Seth's face. Oh <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! Teresa's going to shit on you in a minute. You have not addressed her yet. Alright, so no, this is all well, over. No, no, she, 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 she was, oh, uh, it lasted for half a second. She was about to speak That's first, so why doing. would we interrupt her? That's true. I am, hey! Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm first. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish, but your house is ridiculous. House Ravels, I'm afraid. Anyway, um, so she sees herself and says, my brother is no murderer. Uh, and he would never Ow. betray betray his friend Reginald Longbottom. I hope you understand this. That's it's the same conclusion we came to. Though we knew him only briefly, he seemed an honorable sort. Okay. 
Um, she nods her head in agreement. Uh, yeah. Indeed, he was relatively honorable. He kept to the Knight's Code as much as possible, though he was rather impulsive and certainly less serious than some of the other knights that I met, such as Longbottle himself. Mm. And tell me, ma'am, do you know if your brother had any enemies? Anyone who would wish him harm or wish him out of the picture, as it were? Mm, none that I can think of, of course. Um, I can't imagine why someone would attempt to create a rift between the Longbottle and Black Tree houses. They were rather close, um, and certainly, mm, 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 certainly both families have great interest in Raven's Bluff and are staples of the econ e economy here. In that case, do you know of any foreign elements that might have wished the city ill? Creating a rift between two of the most powerful houses would certainly weaken the city as a whole. Mm. I... I really can't think of many. There are always the basic thieves that live in a city, such as as large as Raven's Bluff. Mm. Understandable. I usually don't associate myself with such sorts. Of course, of I course. I back my comments. <laughs> I'm not a thief or a cleric. No, 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 no. The fact that she's saying I don't associate with thieves that her house is a bunch of reformed thieves. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, so I'm going to hold back my comments. <laughs> this is my book, right, so? Mm -hmm. Speaking of thieves, though. Remember, you kept you kept hitting it, so you moved it. Speaking of thieves, though, the, um, what was it? The night after Anton supposedly left for sea, our house was broken into, though... Mm. Nothing of major value was stolen, just a silver plate, a silver bits plate. of clothes, nothing important. Might we investigate the room that was broken into? Feel free, it's down the hall and to the left. Were they Anton's clothes by chance? They were indeed. Anton's yeah. clothes. Do you know the particulars of the outfit stolen? No. Just, I don't keep track of my brother's wardrobe. Understandable, understandable. Alright, it's pause. And le leaning to my friends, I say, "'Tis possible that someone stole his clothes and impersonated him." Mm -hmm. Indeed, an assassin. <clears throat> uh, all assassins are proficient with disguises, so... Or possibly even a changeling. Possibly a changeling or something worse. She interrupts you and says, "'Oh, now that I think of it, they did attempt to get into the library. There was signs that they attempted to pick the lock, but they failed. Is there anything of great import in your library, you... Nothing I know of. Do you mind if we look around? I would prefer to keep my family history books away from outsiders. Ooh. Of course. Bitch, take the off out! Of course, of course. Uh, Very well. If you will excuse us for a moment, we shall <laughs> investigate the burglared room. Burgled room. Burgled. Yes. Burgled. 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 I hate that word. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, it's noise. basically been reconstructed um, and rebuilt. There's nothing that's really been moved. <laughs> like everything's in working right. order. Anything that's been sold has been already taken. All right. In that case, um, the lock, of course, is broken because it was broken into. I look oh, at the window. Uh, I try to see if it was broken in or out. It wasn't. All right, then how did they get in? Is there, like, a door? Okay, so this is, like, an entry hall sort of room? Yeah. Okay, I see. So the door was picked. All right, I look for signs to see that, make sure that the door was, in fact, picked. Uh, let's see, that's a 22. Yep, you can see that it was. All right. Lock was picked from the outside. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs> I'm supposed to portray her as an elegant southern lady. <laughs> you really miss Macmillan. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Well, uh, emeralds and sapphires adorn her jewelry, pretending her as an elegant southern lady. <laughs> She's reclining on a jazz lounge when the pizza's entered. My man, it is hot. I do declare. Her I do declare. So Reginald and wants you to clear her brother's name. So her brother's Lord British. <laughs> she is a southern, southern belle. belle. Yep, that is correct. Macmillan. <laughs> Their parents <laughs> must. They did nothing of the sort. Um, I love your Southern. I like your British yeah. Islander accents. Yeah, yeah, I gotta say, I don't know. I like the Southern Belle. That's that's. Fun. But yeah, but now that, that as, yeah. Yeah. introduced um, mm -hmm. Anton as not Southern. Yeah, I don't yeah. want him to turn into they, uh, they Mr. Larity. Anton? 
<laughs> he was a very distinguished gentleman, and my oh, kind of retconned British because it was cool. So they didn't say anything about being southern lady? No. Exactly. It, he was supposed to be a distinguished, well-spoken knight of the golden rooster thing. Had a nice doublet, and that was about it. Um, and wow, that, that's a sister. nice little issue they have. <laughs> yeah. We were raised in separate castles, y'all. So, like, well, you see, my father did not have such an accent, and he was the one who trained Anton in his noble, oh. knightly ways. I was more with my mother. Well, then, little lady, I the suspect that. Oh, All right, no, I'm not. Yeah, no. Uh, did you insult just, my accent, let's sir? Just, we'll let her speak normally because I don't want to. Yeah, that's, that's fair, fair enough. Oh, how much XP did we get for the first None. encounter? What, really? For the Legit, combat none. encounter? Are you oh, serious? Bullshit. I mean, encounter two in the book. Encounter two? Oh. Yeah. 636. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Wait, is that total? That can't be total. No, 127 each. Mm. Right, because they divide XP up between people. Ugh. 127, you said? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Sweet. Yeah. Obviously, you see their ship, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Lots of gold, etc. All right. What your experience is on this? Use. I'll just do. Uh, what is the cap? A thousand. Thousand. Ah, <clears throat> All right. So I just rolled general perception to see anything out of place. Uh, seventeen in that entry room. Oh, uh, you can't see anything. All right. So all the everything was put back in place. <sighs> there won't be any evidence here. Nope. So I have to think that there's something in the library. And yeah. this is yeah. yeah completely OOC. What's everyone's stealth and thievery? I hear that uh, Stone Shield is tagging along beside you. I said OOC. OOC. I yeah. said OOC. Yeah. I'm just uh, letting you know. Four for both. Still there. All right. Just tagging along. Plus two for <laughs> stealth and thievery. All right. I've only got eight for stealth and zip for the and well four for thievery. Okay, so I turn to our dwarfy companion. Oh wait. Um. Excuse me. Before you go poking <laughs> around my personal affairs, I would like to. I would like to mention that um, should you succeed in clearing my brother of these horrendous and heinous charges, you will each be rewarded with a magical item of your choosing. Mm. Oh, lady. <laughs> <laughs> that is one idea for reward, my lady. Enchanted ladies. Of course, oh, of course, lady. Like, whatever level you know, I, I understand, yes. Yeah. Aren't you a, a, a lady yourself? You so cool. I think so we've <laughs> I think we've long since determined Seth's a lesbian. Anyway, okay. and that you <laughs> apparently swing both ways. Sorry, Sugar Cube. Her barn door does <laughs> swing that way. <laughs> well, that's what polymorphs for, Seth. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Actually, no, that's what? what I'm for. Sorry. <laughs> that door is closed to you. Allow me. It's okay, Seth. It's okay. Why? He's married! And he doesn't want a mistress. To Go a on. halfling. She's not here. You know a lot about that. Anyway. What? <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I, you've said, like, she's not here right now, like, three times in the past two years. Anyway. Anyway. Okay, so there's no evidence here. <laughs> the only evidence we could find is in the library, which we're not allowed into. Yes, you are not. So, you can ask her what's in there. I'm just saying. Well, we did, and she said I she doesn't know. I'd rather keep. Yeah, I don't know what they would so, want. So, asking the dwarf. Family history private. Yeah, family, I'm like literally, it's just tomes of family a, history. Right. Well, like no, I, I said, I'm going to talk to the dwarf. Well, yeah. Okay. Kira. What was her name, Kira? Stone Shield. Yep. All right. <clears throat> and Kira, my good lady. Um, come here a moment. I'd say leaning down to put myself kind of like on her level. <laughs> God, that sounds so condescending, but... I <laughs> Here, let me squat down so you can look into my eyes. It's just kind of sad. It is. Okay, so, taking a knee beside her, I say, Look, I know you want to have the lord of your house free just as much as we do. There may be something important in the library. Now, I know the lady does not want us in there, but... <clears throat> and I hate to poke into her business, but it may be critical to freeing Anton that we see what could be in there. <laughs> and I try to roll diplomacy to get Alright. Seven. S nine. 
Can we get some other roles in there, please, guys? Um, Companions, <laughs> boon <laughs> friends. Yeah. Jesus Christ, guys! <laughs> Eight. All right. So she she anxiously sort of washes her hands. No, 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 no. I I I cannot simply uh, use the wishes of my lady. I've been inside the library and I know what's in there. But well, then what is in there? Tell us. S- simply family histories. House Taldivar, Raphael. You name it. Just j- just histories. Nothing just all that's history. exciting. And you're sure the thief did not get in there? Positive. The door was still locked. Though the wood was chipped away near the lock itself, it was unopened. Were there windows in the library that might have been broken in? No windows in the library. All right, it's an internal building. Um, Room. Basically, like, if you were to set up the house, library in the center. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the gardens and salvage. Yes. Yeah. Um, So uh, she does hold up a hand. Um, you, You... could probably find the uh, the 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 histories that you're looking for in other things, like p- perhaps other nobles have them. It's, yes. it's, it's really no secret, you know. If it's no secret, why does she not want us in? If it's, it's p- private p- property. I'm deciding whether or not I want to just like explode in anger at her for just you know saying fuck off. She will probably scream. And maybe cry. <laughs> well then! <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you can't make a dwarf cry. cry. Wait, she's a possible companion? Yeah, you could convince her to. She has as much stock hmm. in a this point, as well. A point. If you well want then. her to tag along. So if you make her cry, her. you're yeah, going to be scared, flutter shy away. If you would want her to tag oh, along, she free her master. Flutter from dwarf. I see. All right. I do that. I say, well, <clears throat> if we can't get into the library, we could use someone with your expertise along with us. Someone who could pinpoint the exact books we need and perhaps help in other things. Oh, m- m- most certainly. I-, I was taught how to read and write in multiple languages by my masters, uh, or by my lady and my lord. Um, and I would gladly help try and free them, uh, free Anton from incarceration. Uh, Stat block. I don't have one. <laughs> Fuck, she's a level zero NPC. Yeah, basically. <laughs> All right. Why? But she does have great knowledge of the city. Can I put her in a bag of holding just so she doesn't get killed? Oh, you would care. Okay. Her on I'm sure. Back. All right. <laughs> like Jeffrey. Mark I mean, pulls just put her in auto follow. She'll I, I understand that, but I'm just saying, like, in combat, she might get hit by a stray arrow or something. Oh, that reminds me of something. Yes. So, hey, hey, random, you know, skittish dwarf in the bag. 